Attention all men, if you thought vaping was a healthy way to stay cool and manly, think again. That's great. Go ahead, make your jokes, mister. Jokey. Joke maker. Turns out those puffy clouds of strawberry scented vapor may not only make you look like a wannabe dragon, but can also lead to significantly decreased testosterone levels. So if you've been feeling a little less macho than usual, your vaping habit may be to blame. Not that rom-com movie you secretly watched. What? Oh my God, who told you? Let's get ready to learn how vaping is putting your masculinity at risk. Now it is well known that smoking cigarettes is a major risk factor for respiratory diseases, cardiovascular disorders, hormonal imbalance, cancer, and disturbances of the reproductive system in both men and women. Vaping is a trend that has become popular in recent years, especially amongst people who want to kick the cigarette habit. Alarmingly, however, it has also become very popular amongst young people, with many e-liquid flavors on the market and a wide variety of vaping devices for sale to appeal all genres. How does vaping work? E-cigarettes deliver a nicotine-containing vapor by heating a so-called e-liquid enclosed in a cartridge. Now, the nicotine content of e-liquid varies, and some fluids are even free from nicotine. The vapor is inhaled by the users into the lungs and then exhaled out into the environment. Now, vapor sounds pretty harmless, right? Especially when compared to the harshness of cigarette smoke. My parents both used to smoke when I was a child, and the smell still haunts me. However, the use of e-cigarettes is not without risks, and the negative effects on vaping on male health are becoming increasingly evident. An increasing number of studies are showing that vaping can lead to a number of health problems in men, including reduced testosterone levels and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and respiratory issues. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at testosterone first. Testosterone is a hormone primarily produced in the testicles of men, although women also produce testosterone in the ovaries, but in a smaller amount. It is considered an androgen hormone, and that is a class of hormones which are responsible for the development and maintenance of male characteristics, such as facial and body hair, deepening of the voice, and the development of muscle mass and bone density. These changes start to happen around puberty in males thanks to testosterone. It is also important for the development of the male reproductive organs and plays a role in healthy sperm production and erectile function. Now, testosterone not only has an important role in physical development, but also plays an important role in regulating mood, cognitive function, and overall energy levels. It has also been shown to have an impact on the metabolism of fat and glucose in the body. Low levels of testosterone can lead to a number of health problems, including fatigue, irritability, decreased cognitive function, decreased energy levels and motivation, decreased sex drive, and muscle loss. Men with low levels of testosterone are also more likely to be overweight or obese and have an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. If you're suffering with low testosterone symptoms, consider doing one of our courses at the college where we teach you how to optimize your health with a naturopathic approach. Check out our website for more information, link in the description below. So can we all agree that testosterone is a really important hormone for male health? Yep. Well, this is where things start to get troublesome. A recent study in the Journal of Human Reproduction found that compared to non-users, daily e-cigarette users had lower testosterone levels compared to cigarette smokers, and both e-cigarette and cigarette smokers had significantly lower total sperm count, a reduction of up to 40%. Not exactly something we want to hear when we're trying to maintain our manlyhood. But also, this is super worrying when we're seeing developing teenagers and young adults that are starting to use these devices regularly in their formative years. In addition to lowering sperm count, it has also been linked to an increased risk of infertility and erectile dysfunction. A recent study in the Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health showed that, and I quote, exposure to e-liquid with or without nicotine resulted in a marked decrease in circulating testosterone levels by 50% with nicotine and 30% without, and concluded that e-cigarettes, even those which are nicotine-free, contain many harmful substances, including endocrine disruptors, which disturb hormonal balance and morphology and the function of the reproductive organs. E-cigarettes cannot be considered a completely healthy alternative to smoking. 50% reduction in testosterone, guys. Can we just let that sink in for a minute? I know, I was speechless too. 
In addition to lowering testosterone levels, vaping has also been linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease in men. One report by the American Heart Association showed that people who used e-cigarettes had increases in blood pressure, heart rate, and blood vessel constriction immediately after vaping. Considering that heart disease is so prevalent in Western society, the wide use of e-cigarettes is a worrying trend. Vaping has also been linked to respiratory issues in men. A 2022 study found that men who vaped had higher levels of a protein called surfactant protein D, which is a marker of lung damage and a biomarker for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Another study in the American Journal of Physiology also found that men who vaped had higher levels of inflammatory markers in their lungs and other respiratory issues. This could be due to the ingredients found in the e-liquid which is vaporized. So what's in these e-liquids? Let's take a look at some of the common ingredients. Nicotine. Nicotine is the primary ingredient of most e-liquids, and as we know from cigarettes, it can be highly addictive. Nicotine has been linked to a number of health problems, including an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and respiratory issues. It is also a vasoconstrictor, which means that it constricts blood vessels and reduces blood flow to the body's organs. This can lead to an increased risk of high blood pressure, heart attacks, and other cardiovascular issues. Propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a common ingredient in e-liquids and is used to create a smoother vaping experience. The most common side effects of vaping with propylene glycol will normally be a dry mouth and a sore throat. Ever noticed how e-cigarette smokers are constantly clearing their throats? You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? Propylene glycol is great at absorbing moisture. Aside from being uncomfortable, having a dry mouth can also have an impact on our oral health and the balance of bacteria in our mouth. Saliva is an important component of our immune system, acting as the first line of defense against pathogens that we encounter. Not having enough saliva can lead to increased plaque, tooth decay and gum disease, mouth sores, oral thrush, as well as cracked lips and corners of the mouth. It can also affect our ability to chew and swallow our food and impair digestion. Most of the e-liquids available on the market are composed of a propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin mixture at equal parts. Researchers have found that vaping propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, which we'll talk about in a minute, can lead to inflammation of the lungs over a period of time, as well as an increased risk of asthma. Propylene glycol has also been linked to skin irritations and allergic reactions. Research has shown that even just vaping twice a day will significantly increase the levels of propylene glycol in your blood. Vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is another common ingredient in e-liquids and it's used to create a thicker vapor. However, vegetable glycerin can cause a number of health issues, including respiratory irritation and the increased risk of asthma. Since glycerin is a form of sugar alcohol that your body cannot fully absorb, vaping vegetable glycerin can also cause digestive issues including nausea and diarrhea. Not too sexy, is it? Flavorings. Flavors are added to e-liquids to create a more appealing taste, but are they as harmless as they seem? Hey, I doubt it! Okay! The unpredictable variety of ingredients is a problem here, as there are so many different vape juices on the market. Even the heating coil, which allows the liquid to become an inhalable aerosol, releases new chemical substances and trace metals that go into the user's lungs. Many flavorings contain chemicals which have been linked to respiratory issues, including bronchiolitis obliterans, also known as popcorn lung. This is caused by a buildup of scar tissues in the lungs, which blocks the flow of air. In addition, some flavorings contain toxic chemicals such as benzenes, which is a known carcinogen. The amount of benzene in e-cigarettes can depend greatly on the device. If a device is operated at a high power, and when the e-cigarette fluid also contains chemicals such as benzoic acid or benzaldehyde, benzene levels were found to be thousands of times higher than in the ambient air. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen and is produced when e-liquids are heated to high temperatures. This can occur when a vaping device is used at a high wattage or when the device's coil is damaged. Formaldehyde exposure can lead to an increased risk of cancer, respiratory issues, and other health problems. I didn't realize it could be this bad. Thank you. And 
To top it all off, many vaping devices contain heavy metals such as lead, nickel, and chromium, which have been linked to respiratory diseases, including lung cancer. These metals can leach into the e-liquid and can be inhaled during vaping. Manganese and lead exposure may cause neurological and developmental defects. And guess what? It's now also been found that secondhand vape is an aerosol that contains a mixture of dangerous chemicals, including heavy metals. So when a non-smoker walks through a strawberry-flavored vapor cloud, they could be inhaling these chemicals themselves. Yikes. So how do we stop vaping? Here are my top tips. Gradual tapering. Now, unlike cigarettes which end, vaping can be a never-ending habit. So start by reducing the frequency of vaping and the nicotine concentration in your e-juice, slowly decreasing the amount over time until you can go without vaping altogether. Exercise. Exercise can help distract you from cravings and boost your mood. Exercise releases endorphins that can help reduce anxiety and improve your overall sense of well-being. Regular exercise can help you maintain a healthy lifestyle and reduce the urge to vape. Consider herbal allies and supplements. Some herbal remedies have been known to reduce the symptoms of nicotine withdrawal. These include ginseng, ginger, and St. John's wort. These herbs can help reduce the appeal of smoking and making less enjoyable, as well as providing a relaxing effect to help with nicotine withdrawals and ease withdrawal symptoms. Bachflower remedies are also great for quitting smoking and vaping and bring wellness to your entire being. B vitamins can help dampen cravings and irritability. So, while vaping may make you feel cool and edgy, hopefully this video has empowered you with the knowledge that it can have a not-so-cool effect on your health, particularly for men. But don't worry, with the natural solutions discussed, you can kick the habit to the curb and enjoy a healthier lifestyle. So throw out that vape pen and start exploring these options today. Your lungs and your loved ones will thank you for it.